Hello, welcome back to the Zolico Super Mileage Project. This is video 3 showing more details of the inside of the car and some of the chassis work. I'm just coming in on the engine compartment. I've cut the hood off here so you can see the uh, turbo Suzuki three-cylinder engine with the uh, McPherson strut suspension and you can see the, um, the tubular chassis work that is taking place up front here. Now right here you'll see I placed the power brake booster and master cylinder inside the car. Uh, the uh, reservoir is accessible from underneath the hood through the cowl. I've done this to allow so that I have lots of room in the engine compartment for the uh, energy recapture system that I will be installing in here. And uh, so that'll also help clean up the inside of the engine compartment. Here you can see I've started to, uh, I've got the steering column tacked into position along with the uh, master cylinder assembly. They're going to be attached together. Then there will be a special linkage to uh, activate the pedal and the booster through the uh, motion of your feet here. Now you can see the back of the of the uh, perimeter chassis. The hollow area in the very back there is where the swing axle will go as well, along, as, well as the uh, fuel tank and then there'll be room for storing uh, groceries and uh, there'll be a wraparound bench seat in the back that'll seat two small adults or two children, a couple of golf club bags and uh, what have you. The uh, uh, rear is accessible through the hatchback as well as through the front doors. Now we'll go around to the other side so you can take another look at the chassis. Like I say, it's a full perimeter tubular space frame. It'll be very rigid. It's going to have a center backbone going down like a, like a huge tunnel that'll tie everything together, make it very torsionally uh, rigid so it should handle really well and then there's going to be a full roll cage built in that'll hug the roof everywhere. It'll be very crash safe. And it's got, uh, you can see the the clutch and brake pedal in there and the uh, steering, the rack and pinion steering. There's plenty of leg room on this with the seats uh, right back. There's room for somebody uh, that's at least six foot one, no problem. And then between the rear seat and the front seat. When the front seat is fully extended to the back there's about 10 inches of leg room. So I've tried to make this car very roomy yet it's a teardrop shape. Now we'll do another perspectives from the exterior. As you can well imagine, a project of this size requires a lot of time to be put into it. Now, I am trying to publicize this project so that I can find investors that would want to 
help me set up a production facility so I can build these cars on a limited production basis. Um, they are going to be hand built, exotic, eco-friendly cars uh, to begin with. Once the uh, numbers in the uh, uh, market go up, then of course it can be set up more like a mass production facility and bring the cost of the vehicle down uh, immensely. But initially they will be uh, uh, very time-consuming projects to build but hopefully everybody agrees that they're going to be very beautiful very aerodynamic it's all about efficiency and utilizing all the concepts that I can think of to make it as efficient as possible aerodynamically and then recapturing uh, thermal energy that's normally wasted on internal combustion engine Here I'm underneath the car. I don't know if you'll be able to see anything from this or not, but uh, gives you an idea. I've got the uh, uh, window tracks and door skins off of a donor car but for the side windows. So they'll have fully operatable windows. They'll be electric, of course. And then there you can see the uh, engine in the front and the tubular work going on. Very complicated affair. Hopefully you enjoy this video and if you have any interest in talking to me about it, feel free to uh, contact me at zolbod at telus.net. That is my email address. That's Z-O-L-B-O-D at telus.net. Thank you very much and as I progress with this project, I will continue making further videos and we'll start doing more detail as these first three videos that I have now are basically overall perspectives of the car. But I will be uh, getting into fine details as the job progresses. And there we go. Thank you very much. Bye-bye for now.